This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So in the first line of our input, we are given a time in 24 hour format as input. And after that we are given 3 integer variables x, y, z as input. So we have to add x hours, y minutes and z seconds to this time and print the resulting time after every changes. So here this is the initial starting time 10, 5, 45 seconds. So we have to add x hours to this time. So after adding x hours we have to print the resulting time. So here x is equal to 4. So after adding 4 hours the time will be added with 4 hours. So 10 plus 14 will be 14, 5, 45. So this will be the new time. So now we have printed our time after adding x hours. Similarly we should add y minutes to this time. So the value of y is equal to 65. So 65 is nothing but 1 hour 5 minutes. So we should add 65 minutes to this existing time. So after 1 hour 5 minutes the new time will be 15 because 1 hour will be added. So 14 will be changed to 15 and still we have 5 minutes. So 0 5 will become 1 0. So this will be the time after 1 hour 5 minutes 15 10 45. And now our task is to add z seconds to this time. So the value of z is equal to 100. So we have to add 100 seconds to this time. So from the 100 seconds first let us take the 15 seconds alone and add it. So 45 plus 15 will become 60 which is nothing but 1 minute. So 10 will become 11 and the seconds will become 0 0. So still we have 85 seconds with us. So 85 seconds is nothing but 1 minute 25 seconds. So the 11 will become updated to 12 and we have remaining 25 seconds. So 0 0 will become 25. So this will be the time after adding 100 seconds. So now we have got 3 times 14 5 45, 15 10 45 and then 15 12 25. So these are the 3 different times after adding x, y and z. So in our output we have to print these 3 times in new line. So in our output also we can see that we are printing the same times and all of these times are printed in a new line. So this is how we get our output. Now let us see how to write a C program for this. So first I am creating 6 integer variables named hh, mm, ss, x, y and z. So first using a scanf statement I am going to accept the 24 hour time format as input. So in the 24 hour time format the first integer is hh, the second integer is mm and the second integer is yy. So in the scanf statement I am using a colon so to, to separate hour, minutes and seconds. So what happens is all the integer will be separated and it will be stored in hh, mm and ss. And after that we are given the values of x, y and z. So again using a scanf statement I am accepting the values of x, y and z. And then still I am creating 3 more integer variables named hour, minutes and seconds. And I am storing the initial values. So in hour I am storing hh and in minutes I am storing mm and in seconds I am storing ss. So now we are going to start printing our output. So first our task is to add x hours to the time. So the original time is represented in hh, mm and ss. So we have to add x hours to hh. So h plus x. So I am setting hour is equal to h plus x and we should print our output also in 24 hour format. So I am using mod 24 so that we will be getting our output in 24 hour format. So after finding the value of hour I am printing the output. So using a printf statement I am printing hour mod 24, minute mod 60 and second mod 60. So that our output will always be in a correct 24 hour format. And in the printf statement I am using percentage 0 2D because always we have to print our output in a 2 digit format. Suppose if we are printing 5 we should not print it as 5 we should print it as 0 5 in time format. So when we use this percentage 0 2D if the integer which we are printing is less than 2 digit it adds a 0 in the beginning. Suppose if we are printing the integers like 12 and 13 it won't add 0 in the beginning because they are already of 2 digits. Only when we are printing the integers which are less than 2 digits it adds a 0 in the beginning. So that is the use of using this percentage 0 2D. 
So till now we have added x hours and printed the output. Now we should add y minutes to the time. So after adding y minutes the new time will be mm plus y and in 24 hour format it will be mm plus y mod 60. So I am storing this value in the variable min. So now our min variable is updated. But suppose let us assume we are adding 122 minutes. So 122 minutes is 2 hour 2 minutes. So the value stored in min will be equal to 2. So we should add the 2 hours to the hover variable. So to perform that we are also updating the value of hover variable. So after finding that is after setting the value of min again we are going to change the value of hover. So I am setting hover is equal to hover plus mm plus y by 60. So by 60. So let us take the same example 122 minutes. So 122 by 60 will be 2. So the hover will be incremented by 2. So already existing value of hover plus 2 and the value stored in min will be equal to 2. So that we will get our output in correct format. So again after updating the values of hover and min now we have to print the time format. So again using a printf statement we should print hover mod 24 minute mod 60 and seconds mod 60. So like previous again we have to use a printf statement and we have to print the new updated time and we should print a new line at the end. So next we have to add z seconds to the time. So I am setting the variable seconds is equal to ss plus z mod 60. So the seconds will be stored in the variable second and now we have to add the remaining minutes obtained from the seconds to the minutes variable. So again like the previous we have to do the same thing. So we have to update the variables min and hover. So first let us update the variable min. So the updated value of minute will be already existing minute plus the remaining minutes obtained from the seconds. So the remaining minutes updated from the seconds will be nothing but ss plus z by 60. So that will be the remaining minutes that we will be getting after adding ss and z. So we will add ss plus z by 60 with min. So the sum of these two values will be the new min. So I am setting min is equal to min plus ss plus z by 60. So now we have updated the min. Similarly we have to update the hover. So to update the hover variable we have to use the remaining minutes. So the hover variable must be updated such a way that hover plus remaining hover obtained from the minutes. So we should be setting the condition like hover is equal to hover plus the remaining hover obtained from the minutes which is nothing but minute by 60. So hover will be equal to hover plus min by 60. So that will be the new hover, new min and new seconds. So now we have updated all of the three variables minutes, seconds and hover. So again using a printf statement we have to print our output in a 24 hour format. So this is the logic to solve today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching.